So I'm interested in showing you some distort tools. When you're modeling at times, you want to be able to, like I have this cylinder, I have a couple cylinders here, this one's skinny, so I want to distort it in some way. I want it to bend or something. So under this button right here, it's one, two, three, four, five, kind of looks like a taco. Um, there's all of these distort tools, and I don't know if I'm going to show you any of them, but once you see how they work, they will make sense. So I'm going to click on this bend tool and you can see it like gives it an auto bend by default, but I can change that over on the right hand side in this rollout. So I can command a bunch of different things with this bend. I can use this spinner over here on the right. And if I click on my mouse and hold down, I can drag it and you can see the direction that it's bending and you can kind of get the, the bend that you want. Or I'm going to undo, control Z to undo, take it back. I can say I want it to bend at a little bit of a different direction. So I'm using the spinner for direction to, to change the direction of the way it's bending. So you can mess with some of these settings. Just to play with them is pretty much how you use these distort tools. But to show you a couple of them, um, let's use uh, twist um, on this cone. And again, it's all about these um, the, the tools here on the right hand side. I'm going to switch the axis for which it's twisting and I get a whole new look there for this cone because I used a twist instead of a bend. Um, so that is a tool that you might use. Uh, let's see what other tools. Skew tool is kind of cool to use and this you can of course use the strength but again here I am using the spinners on the right hand side trying to give it a little idea of how I, I can make it dance um, trying to work on just finding the right setting that I want for these tools and wrong tool stretch um, I can stretch it like a bouncy ball. If I don't want to have to hand contort that myself, you have the stretch option here. I can also stretch it along the different axes. But now you've seen some of these um, tools used, you just have to mess with them and see what they do. So you might just click on the tool and then see what the rollout presents. And that's distort tool. When you're modeling, sometimes you can use these distort tools to get the, the look that you want for different things.